The Honorable Member from Mermaid Stratford and the Opposition House Leader. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> there are a few organizations that meet a member where they are and help them become who they're going to be. At its core, Girl Guides is about young people coming together, creating friendships, and exploring their identity. No two experiences are the same. There is space for girls that love camping, or, or science, or social justice. The Girls First platform lets girls decide how they'll learn and how they'll grow. Here on PEI, we have over 500 members, and the Girls' sole method of raising money to do activities with their units is through selling Girl Guide cookies. Mr. Speaker, in a non-COVID year, they would sell over 2,000 cases of cookies. That's 24,000 boxes of cookies. Today, members of the Queen's County Pathfinders and Rangers are joining us in the chamber as part of earning their Canadian Connections badge. They are exploring how government works, how decisions are made in their community, and how they are part of the overall picture. Pathfinders are working to get towards their Canada Court, and the Rangers are working on their Gold Trailblazer Award. That's the highest award in Rangers. To achieve these, they must demonstrate leadership, commit to their community through volunteerism, and service projects. These girls, along with many others across the province, are participating in the 2021-2023 National Service Project Reconcilia Actions in partnership with the Gord Downey and Cheney Wenjack, Wenjack Fund, which will inspire girls to start or continue their journey of truth and reconciliation. Mr. Speaker, we should never lose sight of the fact that all the work that we do in this chamber is for island youth. They are listening learning, experiencing, and leading in this province. They should be included, consulted, educated, and listened to in all the work we do. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mm -hmm.